uh, it's been a very strange year in football because I think a lot of people like you who love the game and want to cover the game, yeah. all of a sudden politics has been a huge part of the NFL this year. Many have said to its detriment, uh, has it been frustrating being in a position where you want to talk about the sports of it to also have to balance it with? Sure. Yeah, because, uh, you know, I, I, I have a Twitter account where anytime uh, something like this comes up, I get the stick to sports, stick to football, stick to something other than the fact that you have a mind of your own to actually speak on something, which is what I view these uh, uh, players who are taking a knee uh, before a game during the national anthem, that they are having a moment to try and bring attention to an American experience that maybe not everybody is aware of. And, <laughs> and yet, at the same time, at the same time, it's fine that when I go to a game and my kids are there, I make them stand and put their hand over their heart and take their hat off and stand for the national anthem, just in the same way that that's what I want to do the players are doing this not to be uh, combative towards first responders or the military, but rather to call attention to something that they want to have changed. And, <laughs> you know, and I have met members of the military who say, that's why I fought. I've met members of the military who are offended. I've met people who are um, fine on either side and uh just having a conversation is what i think this is the most important thing is do you think that because i've watched a lot of uh panels uh with people like yourself uh ex-coaches ex-athletes having conversations about this conversations that i had not seen before on these mm -hmm. kind of shows do you think those conversations are getting through at all the people or do you think uh people are so angry on one side or the other that there's no sort of amount of conversation really i think helpful. it's both and i think it's it's both i think there are some people who are hearing this um and understanding that that there is a larger picture that 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 the players are trying to draw attention to and then there are others who just um are are saying they're turning the sets off and to me they're missing some really great football yeah. quite honestly but you know that's that's something that i've seen uh for years um is that there's always going to be something from outside the football world that that it takes roost, right, that finds its way in. And in this case, uh, having a national conversation about it, I think, is fine. Uh, I want to ask you about this as well. You, yeah. uh, you're not just a, a, a sports guy. You do a lot of stuff. You, uh, pr you were an actor in an episode of CSI. Yes. Well, I mean, I, I would think in, in quotes, an actor. You well, know, no, you got a check. I so did. you are. Um, <laughs> this is great. Because you posted this recently. Uh, who did you play on CSI? Uh, I think I played reporter. Reporter. Yeah. Oh, I remember. You were great. Or, or host. Um, yeah, it was great. And uh, and you posted your. You got a residual check for I CSI. I did. I did. And uh, this is for people who don't know. Like when you're in an episode of a television show, you just keep getting paid. Like it's just like a slot machine. It keeps paying out. Keep getting, and just to give you a sense of, uh, here's a check that you received in the mail. Yeah. Um, and if you can see the amount there, yeah. uh, if you can zoom in right there, look at that. 98 cents. Look out. Feels look like it's out. not worth sending a check for 98 cents. Well, what I did is I, you know, I, I, I do whenever I get those checks, I, I put them on my Instagram account with the hashtag, because it's CSI Miami, not yeah. just any CSI. It's Miami, right. Seth. Uh, so the hashtag of suck it Caruso. Yeah. Uh, always, uh, always, yeah. always is on that. So I took that uh, check and a penny and went to a 99 cent store and just really partied <laughs> like it was 1999. <laughs> what I did. Oh, uh, well, thanks so much for being here. I, I can't it. wait to I check you out on Thanks, Thursday. Buddy. Go Steelers. Thanks, you don't mind. Bring home a win for us.